Now, let's squeeze in one more story before we go. It's a fascinating story about a new piece of music believed to be by the Polish composer Chopin, and it has been discovered more than 200 years after it was written. The unknown waltz was unearthed in the vault of the Morgan Library and Museum in New York, and unsurprisingly, it's generated huge excitement and is being played everywhere from the US and across Europe. Well, before we talk about it, let's listen to a little bit of Chopin's Waltz. Well, for more on the discovery of that exciting piece of music, Chopin's Waltz, I'm joined now on the line from London by the European Affairs Analyst, Dr. Marek Laskovic. Uh, good to see you. Uh, Dr. Laskovic. Uh, you are, of course, a classical music buff, in addition to being a current affairs analyst. Uh, does it sound like a Chopin to you? Oh, yes, it is. The question is, when it was written exactly, there has been some point people saying it's part of his juvenilia. Um, it's definitely unfinished in my ear, but fascinating all the same, and a superb find. It really shows that... Well, the, in these old libraries, who knows what else may be there. So it's a very, very good day for classical music. So you, you, you clearly detect that distinctive Chopin quality and that melodic, um, lush sort of invention there. It's a very beautiful, very sort of charming, very relaxing piece. But it's also very short, isn't it? Only about, from what I understand, 24 bars long. But within those... 24 bars, it's perfectly formed, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, of course, it is a point about music that it can be very short or very long. The quality is dependent upon the music inherent within and not on the length. And although it being very short, of course, does, um, uh, does of course, raise a few eyebrows. But what is very interesting about it is that Chopin all over, and it's very good that we have uh, more music from him. If only he were alive today to write even more, say I. And, I mean, it sounds like we're really fortunate that such an exquisite, beautiful melody was discovered. But how was this sort of long-lost Chopin waltz discovered? Well, almost by accident, but it must be remembered that libraries are not scientific places in the sense of everything is fully known about the very old libraries. Just digitalizing a library takes many, many years, and there's still libraries all around the world um, which are not fully, uh, fully uh, digitalized, fully known. There's, of course, libraries like the Vatican Library, which are fascinating for people like me who like libraries and would love to go uh, digging through there. So therefore, it is to be expected that yet more pieces may be found, um, not only, of course, of Chopin, Mozart, for example, or Liszt, and we hope that more pieces can be found in these libraries. So, as I say, it's just one of those strange things. You wouldn't think it's possible, but it has happened before, and I hope will happen again. Indeed. And, of course, Chopin was prolific, but he died very young at just uh, the age of 39 in France, I believe, in 1849. And uh, I understand that he was hounded by hallucinations during his short life, and it's thought to have had epilepsy. Yes, there have been all sorts of um, thoughts on this point. It has to be said that um, having hallucinations, I mean, Sartre uh, described uh, quite clearly to how he was being followed by a gigantic lobster in his walks on parks. So Chopin is not the only one to have uh, hallucinations, and it clearly hasn't affected his music, so it may have even have added to it. So I'm quite okay about that point. It is, however, and here you are quite right, a tragedy, he died so young. Mozart, of course, is another case in point. And all I can say about them is short life, long art, the famous saying, of course. And uh, I understand um, this music, I mean, it's already been played in New York um, and, and I think a couple of other places, but I understand it's premiering in, in the UK. Yes, here at the Polish Centre in London, we're premiering it tomorrow. Uh, which is the UK premiere. It's already been played in Poland, so it can't be a European premiere. But as you say, it's being played all around the world, and 
we're almost at the one of the first people to premiere it, and many and people are coming just out of sheer curiosity, of course, just to hear it because the um, it is, of course, if you like, an entire a Chopin evening. So it's the, for Chopin buffs. So this is a very good evening for them indeed. Well. Um... It's really nice of you to have brought this story to our attention, uh, Dr. Laskovich. And uh, I know you're going to be there at that premiere tomorrow. Uh, I wish I was there. It would be great to see it uh, performed live. You're invited but... to come. I shall be <laughs> I it. like that, yeah. Please do I'll, get, I'll get my private jet to sort of, you know, haul me over to London overnight. Quite but um, quite thank you very much indeed. Uh, Dr. Marek Laskovich is a European affairs analyst who was talking to me on the line from London. And uh, before we go, we're going to leave you now with a bit of that Chopin music. You've been watching Arise News Out with me, Charles and you're going to keep it here on Arise News from the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching as we leave.